Hornada Long-Term Ecological Research Station is located near Las Cruces, New Mexico. There are many research projects going on through the LTER network, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and labs from many universities. A great deal of focus has been on the impacts of the transition of the northern Chihuahuan Desert from grassland to shrub-dominated landscapes. Given this focus, from 1989 to 2006, a team of researchers monitored lizard abundance in some of the distinct vegetation types present on Hornada. A decade later, I approached one of the researchers, John Anderson, who is now the research site manager, to see if I could continue the study and perhaps shed some light on the changes in lizard abundance over time between the vegetation types. My name is Julie Schlichte. I am a second year master's student at the University of Texas at El Paso in the lab of Dr. Jerry Johnson. I'd like to give you a brief overview of how my research began at Hornada, some challenges I faced, and highlight some accomplishments and adventures that have cropped up along the way. I'm currently running an array of 144 pitfall traps at Hornada, split into nine locations. Three in mesquite dune habitats, three in creosote bush habitats, and three in grassland habitats. The three sites within each vegetation types are not replicates, but showcase the various states of each dominant vegetation type. I began working at Hornada in February of 2016 after my proposal for research was approved and all of my IACUC protocol and permits were in order. At the time, I felt very lucky that an old set of lizard pitfall traps were available for me to use with the simple request that I find all of them, repair them, and take erosion data around the traps. It took me just a couple months for repairs, and the erosion data was submitted to Hornada and made accessible online. I then ran the old lizard pitfall traps for about two and a half months before determining they were no longer effective. The previous design of cans buried in the ground with funnels and cups did catch a couple of lizards per day, but walking transects told me that I was not capturing true abundance. I then found out why. I witnessed a whiptail lizard jump on top of the funnel and used the now rusted out cans to climb out. I got temporarily frustrated, then decided to submit a new research proposal to Hornada to dig 144 five gallon buckets into the ground. Happily, they approved my crazy idea and with the help of some truly amazing students, I gave the pitfall traps a facelift. The following video is from our first day running the new traps on June 1st of 2016. Keep in mind, we were catching about two lizards per day between the 144 traps previously. Number one at sea sand, we have six lizards, new record. It was a great success. Since June, I've been able to mentor seven additional undergraduates consisting of volunteers, special problem students under the advice of Dr. Jerry Johnson, and funded undergraduate research assistants in field processing lizards. I am also able to now roughly compare the lizard communities of Hornada with my other research site. In addition to traveling out to Hornada LTER every other weekend, uh, the Alternate weekends I spend at Indio Mountains Research Station in Hudspeth County, Texas, where I also run an array of pitfall traps made in the same way that the traps at Hornada are. At Indio Mountains, I have 81 traps compared to Hornada's 144. And there I'm also collecting data on the abundance of lizards, species richness, and will soon be conducting a diet study where I both monitor the diet of the marbled whiptail lizard while concurrently trapping ground crawling arthropods. In the past 12 months, I have spent over 150 days in the field. And as I have continued to run these lizard traps, I've discovered profound differences in lizard species between the vegetation types and between my sites, and interesting absences of sensitive lizard species that did occur at Hornada a decade ago. As the sun sets on my research here today, I have a lot of people that I would like to thank.